All right, here we go. Part two of rationalizing the denominator. And if you missed part one, you should review that. Here I'll just, we'll do some adding of fractions where the radical is in the denominator and just review some other things. So let's go right away, right to it, right? Get away from this night sky here. I can see Andromeda in the back there. All right. So what if, and let's get a pen going here. Let's use green. What if I had variables or just letters? If I had P over the square root of Q, how would you rationalize this? How do, would you rationalize the denominator? The same way if you had numbers, right? We're just going to take the square root of Q, the numerator and the denominator, and multiply it. That's all we're doing. So here we're going to have P times the square root of Q, right? And over here, it'll be the square root of q squared. And what is the square root of q squared? It's just q. And if you're wondering why, well, let's use another color here, something you should keep in mind. If I had the square root of 5 times the square root of 5, well, that's the square root of 5 squared. And we know the square root of 5 squared is 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. It's the same concept. We're just using letters. So I'll just pause that there for a few minutes. A few seconds, I mean. Rewind the tape if you need it. Let's clear this out. And let's do an addition problem. And we'll use, and we'll just use purple. Why not? So what if I had two? You know what? Let me uh, clear that for one minute. Let me bring it over here. Because this could be a little messy. Go back to purple. What if I had two? and the square root of three, and I wanted to add it to one square root of five. So keep in mind when we add fractions, you know this, we need a common denominator. So keep that in mind as we do this. But before we do this, you, sh you have to rationalize the denominator in both fractions, in this one and that one. So we have to do one at a time. All right, so let's do the two thirds, bring a little arrow over here. So with the two-thirds, we'll do it over two square root of three, I mean. We'll just use the square root of three to rationalize it, just like we've been doing. A little arrow sign there. And over here now, we're going to have two square root of three over the square root of nine, which is just three. Right? And if you didn't understand how I did that, look at part one, because in part one we did stuff like this. All right, so we rationalized this one. Now we should rationalize the other one, and we'll use another color. So I'll just circle this. We have this one already. And for the 1 square root of 5, we're going to times it by the square root of 5 on both sides. What do you think the answer would be? What do you think? A little equal sign here. Well, this will be the square root of 5, because 1 times the square root of 5 is just the square root of 5. And this will be just 5, because the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is the square root of 25, which is 5, right? So now that we rationalize both the denominators, now we can add them. 2 the square root of 3 over 3 plus the square root of 5 over 5, and we need a common denominator. And we'll get that common denominator. So let's change the color. Okay, and we'll use blue. Let's make a little line here. No, oh, that's not blue. A different version of blue, right? Make a little line right over here. So now we need a common denominator. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to take 2 square root of 3 times divided by 3. Right, that's division, right? And we're going to times it by 5. We're going to times it by 5. We're going to times it by the denominator in the other fraction. Right? So what do you think you get if you did that? So this is going to give us 10 square root of 3, right? 5 times 2 is 10 square root of 3. And there's our common denominator, 15. But we're not done yet, right? Because we have to do the other one. We have to do square root of 5 over 5. And what are we going to times it with? The other fraction's denominator, 3. And what do you think we get here? We're going to have 3 square root of 5 over 15. We have a common denominator. Still not done. 
rewind if you need to and let's go to this lighter color was this magenta so now we have 10 square root of 3 over 15 and we want to add it now because that's what we want to do in the beginning and we have our common denominator so we know our final answer is going to be 15 on the bottom in the denominator and this will just be exactly what you see is 10 square root of 3 plus 3 square root of 5. That's all there is to that. So rewind if you need to on that. All right, let's do one more. All right, let's go back to red. So what if I had 8 over 3 square root of 6? Try to do that one. And there's two ways you can do this, actually. Well, let's just do it the way we've been doing all along. Remember, in the past video, the previous video, we didn't, we don't use the constant. We only use the radical. So we're just going to put the square root of six on both sides here. And this extra line showed up. And what do you think we have there? Well, here we're going to have eight square root of six over three square root of thirty-six. Change the color. So we have 8 square root of 6, and we know that the 3, the square root of 36, is just 6, right? And we'll just change the color again. Over here now, we have 8 square root of 6 over 18. And we can reduce that, right? We can uh, half the 8, we get 4 square root of 6 over 9. Right? And there's our answer. All right. So that's rationalizing the denominator. Great job today.